Knock them home, Raiders. Tonight, MDI Chronicles 3 and more from the BFA Alpha as Convert to Raid presents the Battle.net News. Everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the broken show known as the Battle.net News. From the Battle.net News broadcast bunker in Minneapolis, Minnesota, today is, what day is it? Uh, March 13th, 2018, and it is now uh, 921 in the p.m. after the, uh, daylight savings time, central time. Uh, thank you so much for joining us from all around the Blizzard universe, and hello, my name is Pat Crane. I am the host of this, uh, as I said, broken show, and once again, we're on take two. <laughs> but the players are here. This is the first that we've heard from them, so let's talk to those guys. From Merely a Setback, a podcast about the stories of Warcraft, it's Sharko! Hi, I'm Sharko, and I am on the podcast today. Yep. Hello. Yep. <laughs> You sure are. That was all right. We're gonna have to go to a take, right, take three. Two. Take, take, take two. Take three. Uh, take no, seven. Next, we'll go to uh, from lagging balls and from Battle.net Sports. It's Thist. Hello, Thist. Hello. Hello. I was doing the thing that he was doing. Yeah, you're doing the uh, the the uh, the, the clapper. arm slap. The clapper yeah, thing. Clapper. Yeah. Yeah. Doing gotta... doing the clapper. <laughs> I get it. Doing the clapper. I get know. it. That, Thanks for having me aboard this sinking ship. And that's the show title, the sinking <laughs> ship. No. Uh, well, welcome, <laughs> welcome guys. Welcome Twitch chat. Welcome you guys. Uh, no matter where you are in your car, at home, what, what, whatever you're doing. Uh, thanks for taking us along with you. And uh, uh, where are we going? Where are we going in the car? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Can you We've take got... us to drive through. Oh my God! What, like, what, uh, like, what in and out, like in an out burger or no? No, no? we don't no. have those around here anyway, so it's fine. No, they're <laughs> over, like overplayed, man. I'm I'm not a fan <laughs> of in and out burger or the way that people think I should be a fan of in and out burger. I'm sorry, you know, or if you you're, it, or if you're a fan of of Overwatch League, you got to go to Jack in the Box apparently because they're putting out I big get, money for that Dallas team. Yes, all right, you know. So, you could do that. Yeah. I'll just jack in the box. So that that's a thing that you could do. I, we don't have those yeah. around here either. So, but no, so like really, are, like... is that where we're going to jack in the box? Because I could totally go for that. No, right that's the kind of guy who'd be like, no, we don't need to go to the drive-through. Let's just get out and wait in line. And we'd be like, why? Why? Uh, I just want to hang out in the car, man. And it's like, yeah, well, I don't uh, want to get up and walk. See, I was always a go inside guy like I, I always that was like a super special time especially I, when you're a kid because you get to play in the play place uh, if you yeah. went inside you know what i mean i was a lazy kid though well, i just wanted if, my food to go home okay so if you get to play in the play place mm -hmm. uh who wants to go inside everybody i don't No, you still want to well, you still want to go through the drive through yeah, I just want right. food. See, you get the food right. in your car, and then you keep driving to okay. home where computer is. What if it's like <laughs> an adult-sized play place, and all your friends are there, or and you can just play in the ball pit? And will there be no, Will there be beer? No, <laughs> needles or germs well, in the ball pit? In the adult play place, will there be yeah. beer? And is by the like way, balls now, balls? now that now that we're talking about the adult play place, I just kind of went end the conversation. I'm just going to end the conversation. Gonna, but I have so much on. to add to this. <laughs> I said adult sized play place is <sighs> at least what oh, I meant. Okay. Adult sized right. balls. All right. Oh, hey now. <laughs> hey. Now we're gonna go. <laughs> Let's talk about our weekend gaming, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh uh so i was away in california i had zero time uh playing anything other than hearthstone uh while i was in the airport or you know whatever uh so i'm totally relying on you guys this week to uh to lead me around and tell me what's new uh shark what's new with you what's, that works out for you, Captain. Yeah, exactly what's been uh, what's been going on with you <laughs> you were lately? driving lately i know i'll drive to the, i'll drive to the drive-thru but i'm not driving uh 
Anyway, Shark, go ahead. <laughs> you're driving us crazy is what you're driving. Right. I, uh, I was on a work trip all week, so I didn't get to play much either. I didn't get oh, to raid God. with my guys. Uh, I played a little bit of Hearthstone, mm-hmm. um, but I did find a little bit of time to log in and do the dress me up contest. What was that called? Trial of style. Trial of style. Trial of style. And now Dress it's and now it's gone for another year. And I was so sad. It needs to be longer than like what was it like three days, four days? It's like Ish, a yeah. like a week. Uh, just a week. Whatever, Whatever it, was. it was, it needed to be longer because I was super, super sad when I logged in and when I was like, Oh, I'm back home from my work trip. Uh you know what? I'm just gonna spend 17 hours at Trial of Style trying to get all of my stuff for all of the transmogs. And it was closed. Yeah, I went to the tra- transmogger, and they're like, mm, "No, we can, we you can change your clothes, but we're not gonna judge you on it." And I was like, "Well, what fun is that?" Right. Seriously, like right. life. Why but else? Was, why else do I have this Ken doll if I didn't want to play dress up? It, right, I, apparently, I was surprisingly good. Like I beat me and Hannah played for a while, my girlfriend, and she is like transmog queen. And we played a few rounds, and I was getting first places, and she wasn't even placing. And I was like, "Snap, two snaps, yeah. and a circle." Yeah, I've also spent a lot more time <laughs> farming for transmogs um, because I'm a crazy person. But I had a lot of fun. I know a lot of people That's are good. like, "Cool, yeah. this is dumb. I don't like this. Is whatever lame." Actually, some people in my I think it was our, our raid that was talking about how it was the dumbest micro holiday, and I'm like. You're the dumbest micro holiday. Boats is the dumbest oh. micro holiday. Get hey, B- boats is definitely. Boat there. day is a sacred day. It's pretty dumb. No, it's, it's not. Really what? dumb. Well, I, and I suppose once we get into uh, Battle for Azeroth, boat day will have a different meaning because there will be the Kirin tour there, and they they are all about boat. they are all about boats. Every day is boat day in in Battle for Azeroth. Every day is boat day in my heart. All right. Well, <laughs> keep having boat day. I'm gonna keep. Playing dress up and man, it was fun. It was yeah, awesome. I play dress up. The yeah, key... don't, don't worry though. That comes back every like what? Year? Yeah, three months now. Three months is it, now. Is it three months? I think so. Is it three? Really? I thought it was a year. No, it just like the last one happened last year because you know it's the okay. beginning of the year. Yeah, but they're gonna start. Okay, I don't All even right. know. That's All cool. Right. Well, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. You guys got you got to get some sort of glowy goggles, like engineer goggles. If you can get that, put that on a torrent. Yeah. Game. Particle effects impress people. Always yeah, really remember do. that. They really yeah, that's do. true. They really do. Uh, uh, so, Thist. Hi. Well, hi. Uh, so, what have you been doing in games lately? Oh, man. What haven't I been doing? Pat, let me tell you about something I did. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. okay. It was the other night. I was defending point B on Hanamura on Symmetra. And I got 27 kills. And I was just popping off. Whoa. Like, it was just... Like, I know that's not a lot of kills, but on, like, a really aggressive Symmetra with a really aggressive team coming at me, it was just, it was just, it was just aggressive too much. Symmetra. It was just, it was so great. It was so great. That's I wild. just, yeah, yeah, no, it was a good time. Um, Yeah, I'm almost, uh like, at level 300 at this point. Like, I've just been playing a lot wow. lately. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Uh, it's nice to just, like, watch Overwatch League and then, like, log into Overwatch afterwards and be like... Yeah, you know. Right. Uh, speaking of Overwatch League, I just kind of want to bring this up, and I know that we're going to talk about this on uh, Battle.net Sports, which is actually coming out uh, late this week because I was away. So we're we'll we'll probably record uh, a little bit of something tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah. And so I just want to bring this up uh, right now at the top of the show and just say XQC uh, rip. Pretty much, uh, XQC. If you if you don't know the the whole story, XQC is a little. Um, his stream can be a little what some people call toxic, other people call exuberant, uh, and uh, and yet other people have uh, different names for him. Uh, but uh, he was released from Overwatch League because no, he was released from the fuel. He was not released the league. The, I'm sorry, he was released from from the fuel because, in part, he was suspended again. His second suspension for the rest of stage two essentially and and the fuel just went you know what if you can't play for us then we can't have you on the team buddy uh sorry 
true. It's, it's this true. is just the way that it goes. And uh, then you had uh, the the jeers and cheers from one side, and the other side went, "I will never support Overwatch <laughs> League ever again in my life." Okay, bye. <laughs> so, and I was okay, bye. That's what I said, you, Shark. I was like, "Okay, you, bye." You didn't. You didn't. It, he didn't. My thought is that he didn't really uh, respect the opportunity or the league or the team or his teammates or I don't know what it, it was, but I he, think I, I don't think he had enough respect for the opportunity and and therefore it's just gone away for him. every professional sports league should take a page out of what how Overwatch League is is dealing with this mm -hmm. because they have a zero tolerance policy for unsportsmanlike conduct even this guy didn't even break any laws you have players in major leagues that are breaking laws yeah and Seriously. they get slaps on the wrists and nothing happens right overwatch league is nope <laughs> nope right it's just it's we just... don't like what you're saying we just think a... that it's toxic and we we give you a warning yep. and then we give you a fine yep. and then we give you a fine to suspend you. Yep. And because it keeps happening, of course the team's going to drop him. That's the way right. the, and it's the league that's, and I, I'm not saying that it's the league's fault or anything like that. But what I like about this is the league that's driving this. The league is making that player unhirable because that player has chosen to act unhirable. And I think every sports league or professional sports organization should take a page out of blizzard's book i applaud it in all ways shapes and forms and obey yeah. the rules yeah, yeah that's it's actually a really good point yeah and and so and so that i mean and this is about as much uh uh that that we'll talk about overwatch league on on this particular show we'll we'll, we'll talk more this you and i will talk more about this uh oh on, i have lots to say about that <laughs> on BattleNet sports and i can't wait to hear what you have to say about this uh, because it is interesting, it being the inaugural year and all of of uh, the league and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's kind of interesting. But for the most part tonight, we're going to be talking a lot about WoW. We're going to be talking uh, a little bit about Hearthstone for sure, uh, and and maybe some of the other games as well, um, as as we can. But for now, and by the way, uh, Twitch. Viewers, if you're watching this on Twitch, I don't actually have the uh, the the cards ready for for this. I was working on it before the show, but I think it was daylight savings time threw me off, and I couldn't I couldn't actually complete them before the before the show started. So uh, we're gonna go to the CTR top ten. <laughs> uh, that's right. I have the uh, I have that card at least. Uh, the, that just says top 10 on it. Woo! I'm That's, excited. It's not much, but it's what I got. All right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, You're welcome. So tonight's top 10. Uh, on Thursday, there's actually going to be a Battle for Azeroth uh, Q&A with Ian Hazakostas and Lore. I'm sure that everybody knows about that by now. And so I thought I might do a top 10 questions for the Warcraft Q&A. So here we go. Number 10. Will Vol will Volpera be an allied race? And if so, how cute are they? <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Will regular orcs be able to change into Maghar orcs at the barbershop? And if so, how cute are they? How would that happen? <laughs> like you just go to the uh, barber shop and you just uh, change the the skin tone. Yeah, but okay, never. I mind. don't know. And then know. also uh, become upright. A mage. Did I don't it. know how any of that orc stuff works. To be honest with you, you. I, I don't you know, know. Like they have, like right now on the alpha, they have a little a little uh, selector. It says blindfolds, but if you click on blindfolds, you can actually make an upright orc. It's weird. Really? Yeah. Oh. So that's yeah. how you make an orc upright. They like to be blindfolded. Blindfold. That's right. I right. remember that. <laughs> Number eight. And this is a uh, top 10 questions for the BFA Q&A on Thursday. All right. Number eight. Who will be the big bad in BFA? And if so, how cute are they? Actually, I didn't <laughs> even say if so. It's just how cute are they? <laughs> All right. Number seven. 
Uh, with the will the Kirin Tor be a future allied race with new druid forms? And if so, how cute are they? Wait, what? <laughs> how, we saw, how are the, okay. We saw, so we saw we saw we saw another little thing. We saw another little. Look thing. at him! He's freaking out. <laughs> Shark is already freaking out about this. But the Kirin Tor aren't even a race. <laughs> <laughs> they're there they're there and and there they're are questions there are quests where uh where what's well, the big human right so or whatever i don't know what they're Hector calling them, the beefy big. human uh so the beefy human uh they have a couple of different quests i don't Wait. know they're big they're bigger dudes right what if cadgar has like a bazillion illegitimate children <laughs> like he's everywhere right <laughs> And, sure. and like he's making his own like Khadgar sure. race of sure. like giant yeah. people. <laughs> what are we on? We're on number number six. Sorry. Number six, top ten questions for the for the BFA Q and A. All right, here we go. What is the viability of warlocks in the next expansion with all of the changes happening on Alpha? And how cute are they? <laughs> Demo locks are cute warlocks right are now. Very, very very cute. Super cute. Throwing out demons and things and your <laughs> and, and your imps spawn at your feet again not at the boss so you get to see all your imps right i don't know i was watching preach play some demo lock and i i excite it's I all excited. it's all about the imps all right yeah I'm uh down. number five when will i be able to buy the damn collector's edition uh in stores because all i really want is that freaking box because how cute are they how cute are they? It's right. really cute. They are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the number four uh, questions for the BFA uh, Alpha Q and A on Thursday. Everything is a. Uh, number four. Tell me about the new necklace, the Heart of Azeroth. We're all going to get, and how it will work with gear as we collect it in Bazaroth. And how cute are they? How cute are they? How cute are they? Did you say fart of Azeroth? Yes, that's gross. The fart of Azeroth. Uh huh. That's, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> the fart of Azeroth. Is Bazeroth what we're calling it now? By the way, no, it's BFA Bazeroth. Uh, Bifa. We did a top ten about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. That was one that I that I didn't have a gun back to. Right. Yet. I know. What is it? Uh, Talias and Evatel call it froth, and is I it hate froth? it. Froth. I hate, loathe it. Hate I loathe that. Okay. I, well, I, don't, I won't I don't call know it why, froth yeah. in front of your face anyway. All right. <laughs> Number three. Uh, <laughs> when will we see the new Warfronts game on the Alpha? And how, how cute, cute are they? How cute are they? How cute are they? I'm sensing a theme. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, the number two question for the BFA Alpha questionnaire. Questionnaire? No, Q&A. Uh, number two. How many new mounts are being added to Bifa? And how cute are they? Did you see the new B mount? New B yes. mount. I don't know if I like I'm, it or hate it. I'm allergic. I'm sorry. You I have love to, it. Brasley in the chat just won the internet with, does it make you frothing mad? Oh, <laughs> that's really, that's oh, really good. Oh I'm so proud of you. Oh, boy. I'm All so, right. That was great. Okay, keep going. Well, let's I go to the number one question uh, for the Q&A on Thursday for BFA, and that is this. Give me my next expansion, and how cute is it? How cute are they? Is it? Uh, yeah, I changed it up a little bit at the end. Give me a break. I was I was working on it until right up until showtime. <laughs> that was that was great. And then I couldn't I even like print it, it out. <laughs> it's my fault. I told him I'm the joke it. he had wasn't good. Yeah. And then he had yep. to change it. I'm sorry. I had to totally change t change paths. It's fine. You know, you need to stop relying on like my opinions on things. That's probably you have to true. know by now that that's probably this, this true. It's, it's absolutely true. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, because <laughs> let's move on. We don't this. get bongos anymore. We're uh, bad. We just get people in the chat going, well, that's done. Let's get to the news. Well, now. That, that's done. <laughs> Thank God that's over. Thanks so much. All right. Here we go uh, on to the news. <laughs> that's done. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the BFA Q&A. Uh, and Thist, what's, what's actually happening with it? What's going on? 
What do we know? So, on Twitch, Thursday, March 15th, that's, uh, what is it today? Today's Tuesday, so that's like the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Which is a movie, I think. But that doesn't have anything to do with this. Um, Inez Acostas is going to sit down with Lore. <laughs> um, they're going to do a Q&A, and they're going to be answering questions from uh, the internets and the community. And you can ask your questions on the forums and by using the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag Warcraft QA. Um, and, and then and also just, hashtag how cute are they? How cute are they? QA. Oh, how cute are um, they? QA. So no, the no. best way to get your question answered is uh, try to be concise because they don't want to read like the like the huge long paragraph and, you know, try to get through it without like messing up. Try not to put too many like weird words with strange characters in it and, uh, you know, try to be topical. Try to try to think outside the box. Try to ask like, you know, the, the pressing questions. It's like, what's bothering you right now? Is it that when you put on a helmet, your hair disappears? <laughs> I mean, that's that's what's bothering me. I th right. that's like the only thing in game I can think of at the moment right. or ever. Right. It's just it's just it goes away. So like, I, I have, stupid with no hair. And then it'll be like, when are yeah, like Frasley says, when are we going to get flying? You know, let's talk about I, flying and I, I have off. to be completely honest for every single Q&A that they've done since BlizzCon. Yeah. I have written in questions about uh, classic just because I know they won't answer them. <laughs> and I know they have to read them. <laughs> Trolling. <laughs> I Trolling. really do. And I make sure it's me. It's Sharku. Like, I want them to recognize that. They're like, oh, my God. Is that that guy from Cover? Oh, my God. So, you guys hey. enjoy BlizzCon next year. I won't be going. They're not going to give me a ticket. <laughs> Aww. What are we going to do without you? I'll figure out a way to get there. Uh, Hopefully, well, they'll find it endearing. In. I'll put you under my coat. <laughs> wow but yeah that's well so so that's gonna be on thursday the the q a and and it's always just kind of fun and especially when we're talking about bfa and we're not talking about what's happening now on live i because usually what ends up happening is that the the like whatever this patches would like with seven three or whatever we we it ends up at least from a content creator's uh perspective we end up talking about a lot of stuff that we already talked about, or they end up talking about a lot of stuff that we've already talked about, which is, uh, which is, you know, I mean, it's fine because people need that. And, and I, I applaud them for getting the word out about what's, what's happening, but it just doesn't seem like there's much new stuff on this. However, I feel like since we haven't been really covering the alpha too much, we've seen some of the mounts. We've talked about the, the new Zand Zandalari druid forms and all that kind of stuff, but not about, What's happening with Warlocks? Yeah. There is a guide on Wowhead if you really want to know. Everything's I mean, on Wowhead. It's, it's right. all going to change. The, sure. A lot of this stuff, they, they're, they're exactly. getting the building blocks in. They want to they want to change some of these classes. They're, the balancing isn't even close to being there yet. No. But they want to figure out the new gameplay stuff. And there's going to be a few classes that are going to have some some very new gameplay. Um, and they want to make sure that that feels good, then they'll worry about numbers. Right. And, yeah. and so I, I, I'm kind of the only one that I really want to know, and I know that they're not going to, I know that nobody's going to, or they're not going to select this question and they're not going to answer this question. And that is when are we going to see BFA actually, uh, uh, come, come out live? You never know. I mean, sometimes Sometimes they answer questions that you don't expect. Well, in 100%, I can tell you right now, September. Oh, yeah? I would think so, because it does say by September 22nd. So that's that's the wording on the on all of the marketing for... I think it's going to be maybe a week or two before that date. That's my guess. Okay. Could early be late, September. Could be late August again, like Legion. Maybe, maybe late August, early September. Yeah. That's my call. Because Legion was uh, 823, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would th think that anywhere between then and... I mean, it's back to school time. That's when you want well, the, yeah, the new game. Yes, and school. you don't want to launch You don't want to launch in the summer because everybody's doing summer vacation stuff right. and going outside like they should. What? <laughs> not playing video games all day, every day. But um, I'm an indoor kid. I need, I need. <laughs> I'm just telling you. If Blizzard, I'm an indoor cat. If Blizzard oh, like, launches, <laughs> if Blizzard launches a 
new expansion at the beginning of summertime, there's going to be just a ton of people turning into vampires, actual vampires, because they didn't get enough sunlight. It's going to happen. It's going to cause the end of the world. It's that's the that's wow. how the apocalypse happens. Blizzard knows it, and they're they're trying their best <laughs> to avoid that. So, uh, I've seen it happen. It, it's happened to friends of mine. It's not good. By the way, I it's did not- say I did say indoor kid, not indoor cat. This indoor, <laughs> yeah, he's an indoor kid. I'm an indoor he's cat. An indoor cat. But no, it's yeah, hard enough than the hairballs. All right. Gross. Right. Right. But yeah, I think it'll be into the summer. Yep. I think that they're saying it definitely won't be into fall. Mm-hmm. Uh, they gave themselves that cutoff. It's going to be by that date. Yep. I think they're going to stick by that. Oh, yeah. And uh, But I think they're going to be pretty close to that date. So into All summer right. is what I'm saying. All right. Uh, uh, Fist, there is one thing that I want to discuss with you. Oh, Uh-oh. what did I do? No, not not anything that you did. It's just something that I know okay. that you're interested in. And, and I wanted to talk to you about it because we're talking about the MDI. Uh, Mythic Dungeon Invitational. As, yes, that's what the MDI stands for. Right. Pat. And as you know, the last couple of weeks, people have been qualifying for the for the group rounds for they the sure next have. the next step in uh, the MDI. And now we have a little bit more information on when that stuff is going to roll out. Right. Yes, we do. We what, do indeed. What, what do we know? Uh, we the group stage date that the group stage dates are announced mm-hmm. and. I'm wicked excited because now we know what to expect when it's going to come up. Um, I will read them thusly. So China is April 13th, uh, Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific time. These are all in Pacific time, so I won't keep saying Pacific because it's really hard to repeat the word Pacific. Um, APAC is April 20th on Friday at 8 p.m. EU is April 28th, Friday at 5 a.m. That's Saturday, actually. Saturday, Saturday. so have fun with that, uh, Pacific. (laughs) And uh, NA is the day before my birthday, May 6th, Aww. or May 5th, May 5th, Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, so, ha- happy early birthday. Yeah, that's like a present to me from Blizzard. Right. That's what I tell myself in my heart, even though that's absolutely not true. Right. Yes, that's, that is, that is true. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's kind of cool. And, and uh, we also know that they, they have, uh, they are bringing back the, I think, pretty much the same crew uh, yep. To cast everything, I know that Sloot and Trekkie are on board, board for sure. Friends of the show, uh, Robert Wing. We've got uh, yep. Ooh, uh, Automatic Jack. Uh huh. Also a very good friend. It's like I got to meet um, all those guys at BlizzCon last year. It was very cool. Oh yeah, they're all like oh. super funny. And yeah. like last year, it was really cool to see them all just sort of like go from, oh, we are casters. Welcome back to. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if we started telling jokes and then it was like, hey, who can make the most puns? And then by the end of the MDI, it was we have a literal pun tip jar. And every time we make a pun, we put a tip in like it just it it was cool to see it like go from like very straight laced, very like classic, like esports desk. And then it sort of like devolved into this like own entity. And I loved it because and that's one of the things I love most about the MDI is like it became something that people could, you know, sort of like be a part of. And it was just a little bit silly and it was a little bit, it was very blizzardy, you know, it was yeah. just like kind of cheeky, right. you know, yeah. and it was his own thing. So I was really happy to hear that all the casters were back because I want, I want more of that. It just, it made the MDI so easy to watch and so friendly and so accepting. And uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's fun. So the mythic pungent invitational uh, goes on to group rounds starting mid-April, uh, and then we'll see EU and NA uh, towards the end of April, which is cool. Um, and, it's going to be a good month. And I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that uh, we have some good uh, dungeon action. Uh, you know, those runaways are always kind of kind of tough to, tough, tougher to watch anyway, uh, because yeah. then it really does become more about the puns than anything else. Uh, so, so I'm hoping to see some, some, uh, some good, uh, group rounds, uh, for yeah, sure. I, I heard today that there are more like EU teams signed up than, than everything. Like there's just like, there's going to be massive competition for our EU this year. So we're going to, we're going to see some amazing teams this year. Some it's truly like amazing the, things. The number one PVE teams throughout the history of the game have generally come from EU or something. That's no. not like that at no. all. So. No, not at all. NA all the way, baby. 
<laughs> yeah. Except it's APAC all the way. Cause, you APAC know, all the way. And, and actually, APAC won it last year. So they sure did. You know, didn't see that coming, did you? No, you didn't. You didn't see that coming. That's for sure. They're just, what what happened? So yeah. uh, this year, probably a slightly different outcome. I think more yeah, people maybe. will be ready for it. All right. Uh, a couple of things real quick. We did talk, well, we already talked about Maghar and Upright Orcs, right? So Maghar. we don't really need to talk about those guys. Blindfolds. Uh, yes, blindfolds. Remember, <laughs> that is the that is the key to... Nope, I'm not going to go. If you want there. an upright orc, you just blindfold him. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, the next thing is uh, Chronicle Volume 3. Preview is up. Ooh. Yeah, we've got a lot of previews for, I'm so excited. for the next volume <laughs> of the Chronicle series. Uh, and Shark, you are, you are very excited. You I'm look, so excited. You look, I can't even. Ah! You look like the squee <laughs> emoji. It was, it's exactly how I felt when it came out. And I mean, I, you know, you know, Chronicle came out, Chronicle two came out, Chronicle three, obviously was going to come out and you just, I didn't know when, and now we know that it's coming out soon. And I just, am very happy. I'm very happy because I need my lore stuff. I am at this point, honestly, this is not a joke. Everyone. I want to make sure that we understand that this, what I'm about to say is not a joke. I am. Wanting to try to get a special topics class from a university about the history of Azeroth and use the Chronicles as the textbooks. I'm not kidding. Oh, I really want to do it. Cool. <laughs> that would be neat. Wouldn't it be fun? That would be Wouldn't neat. it be fun? And then like and that. do it as sort of a as do it as, as it, it would be like a text analysis uh, if I was going to teach it. Um, but you could also do it like philosophy. The philosophy department could do it and talk about the philosophy in World of Warcraft and there's tons of it there. Cool. But um, mine would be like a story analysis class. But I wouldn't that be awesome? That would yes, be. I would um, take that class. Like I know. Times in a row. I, would, I would take that class and I'm going to teach it and then take it. I don't know. It's probably not going to make, but. I might just do it for funsies. Do it, <laughs> cool, and not not do, do it for credit, but so and this is, and and apparently this, so th this uh, this volume is going to sneak up into history that we are that we kind of know, right? So Ooh. it'll be uh, yeah, it'll be into uh, some. It's of the... coming straight in here. There is uh, Ty Ty Randy Whisperwind is on the. Uh, Ty Randy Whisperwind. Uh -huh. uh, she's she's on the front cover. Yep. So you know they're going to be talking about some Night Elfie stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, but they actually have the first couple chapters here and then some uh, blippets from some of the later chapters. Um, but the third or the second chapter is entitled The Third War. That's Warcraft 3. Right? Oh. So you're talking Arthas and Jaina and Lich King and uh, all that uh, stuff. Uh, Archimonde climbing the world tree is something that they have here. The history of Thrall they're talking about in the first chapter. Uh, and they have a picture of Arthas and Jaina, like all super romantic and prince and princess. And it makes me very sad. Oh. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you guys have got to check out uh, Wowhead um, has a really cool. Uh, spread of they have the first two chapters just straight up here, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you yep, can read the much. first two chapters of the book for free. And they got all the artwork in there, and some of it's really, really awesome. The artwork yep. they're doing, uh, and then they have some stuff on the um, later chapters. It goes all the way. They're talking about the Forsaken and the Horde, the fall of Nomergon. Yeah. Um, so it looks like this takes us straight to it. It, it actually so the, the way that the chapters roll out is that. Uh, chapter five is the Burning Crusade. Chapter six is Wrath of the Lich King. Chapter seven is Cataclysm. That's nuts. That's so, nuts. So looky there, everybody. So we're getting close to where we are in game as far as history goes. Mm -hmm. Um, so now it's almost like I now we gotta make to now we gotta make more crap. So now they, they gotta make more games. Down? Now we gotta make more crap. Well, now they gotta make more games that. so we can so we can play them and then and then they can tell us what we played. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know. I have no idea. Apparently so. Uh, I love I love so, it so much. I need it to come out. I want about seven copies of it. All right. Noted. 
Uh, yeah. so <laughs> my birthday's in November, everyone. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So Thist, uh, are you a big, uh, are you as big of a Lord nerd as, as shark is? Is anybody? No, I, I don't think so. Yeah. There are a lot of people more learned than me. I do a podcast about lore. I have discovered this. <laughs> right. You get emails. You get emails. Uh, yeah. It's, it's great. And, and, I, and well, and consistently corrected is is probably the better <laughs> that's the best way to phrase that but anyway emails. yes uh Plenty so are these. so thister now are, are you excited for something like this as well um do you have the other two? Oh yeah 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 totally oh and they're so beautiful and they are it's just it's it's really cool like i've got some uh, raid team members who really go crazy for the lore and when these books come out it's like christmas and in most cases i don't even have to read it for myself because they like to regale all of us with the stories from the chronicles but i don't know i just think it's a really beautiful way to celebrate the story of azeroth and uh, i like that that it's it's sort of spread out a little bit because we have something to look forward to uh, mm -hmm. and it's just something else that i can throw money at you know for blizzard it's just right. like take my time, my money, my blood, you know, just take it all because, you know, they deserve it. <laughs> no, there's there's a week or two that I'm not eating in April because I'm going to be buying this book. I just I'm all letting right. you guys know that right now. All right. Sounds sounds uh, sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just you you got to do what you got to do. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just... The hustle for blizz. <laughs> got to get a side <laughs> hustle. So that... my life for what? ire. You would know all about side hustles, would you? Pat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. I don't know what that means. Yes. Papa cool down. <laughs> ah, Papa cool down. That's funny. All right. Um. Anyway. Uh. So that. When is that coming out? When do we? Uh. It March releases 27th. end of the end of the month. So March twenty seventh. Yep. That's awesome. Sweet. Maybe, and I know that uh, there was always for the first two. I know that people have done like live stream readings kind of like uh the audio book version but just live yeah <laughs> it's like i'm gonna right. let if if we do that i'm gonna let shoe boots do it because i don't have that kind of attention span <laughs> <laughs> and then you I'm gotta show off all the then you gotta show off all the yeah. pictures to the to the, right. the, the stream and, Story all time. and stuff i we're not gonna do that here oh okay not that i'm aware of anyway. but you could do voices probably i'll do it if you pay me Anybody want to pay me to do it? No. We'll do it. Not I'd, you, Pat. I'd do I know anything you. if I got paid for it. <laughs> Work wow. out of this show long enough. I know you won't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, just uh, just a couple of things real quick. Uh, cataclysm time walking <laughs> starts today, right? <laughs> so yeah. we were just talking about cataclysm. Uh, I always kind of like these refreshers because it reminds me why I some of these dungeons, it's like, oh, I remember playing that. Playing the crap out of these things. Not you know? Grim Batol, though. I hate that place. Grim Batol. Uh. Yeah, I hate that place. I hate that place. That I'll bad. do it time all day. I actually really enjoyed those. In the time especially walking, that, that in, dungeon. In the time walking version, Grim Batol got worse than when we left it. I feel yeah. like it. Yeah. So, Where do I we just, go? I uh, Every time I do end time, I always, like with a pug group, I always get people who have never done it before. And it's just wipe fest because like Thank that God. is that is an instance where mechanics are everything. I remember when I first came back to World of Warcraft after my marriage. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, uh, but I started. So, sorry, I'm not. I'm not bitter or anything. No, I'm not, no, <laughs> it was the most exciting time of my life. Like I'm like this divorce is kind of so ooh Warcraft. Um, I forget, now I get to play. But uh, it's bad. Love, love your significant others, everybody. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I came back as a tanky paladin. Yeah. And, and while I was playing this tanky paladin, that was when they started giving you stuff, uh, extra um, special goodies for when you were tanking in a dungeon if they needed tanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yes. got, I got a swift white hawk strider. Whoa. From one nice. of those little goodie bags. Nice. And it was, I, it was, yeah. And I remember, it, I, I want to, I'm not going to say, I don't remember exactly, but I believe it was in time because I ran I that want, all the time. I, I love that place. I just want one of those new frog mounts. That's all I want. But that's for me. Yeah, 
That's for BFA. So do it. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Uh, another couple of things we kind of we kind of uh, briefly talked about this, but BFA, uh, the regular box. Uh, if you if you are into buying the regular box for not the collector's edition, but just the regular edition, uh, but the but from a box, you can now get it in select retail outlets, and I and I know that's EU for sure. Uh, I believe that's NA as well. Um, but you should be able to pick that stuff up, but not the collectors. I, not I the collectors. stopped. I stopped buying the boxes. You don't need to. And it, what's Pandaria, but I had them all. The silly thing about the silly thing about it. So if you buy the box uh, from a retail outlet, it gives you a code so you can get the, the all the stuff. Woo! So you you're just buying the box. Literally buying the box. And for and the same the price code. as the code though. If it says Blizzard, I will buy it. You it's know what happened today? I mean what? it's the same price, right? Yeah. There's somebody it's in my price. office actually using one of those like sweet like Blizzard notepads yeah. you know and they uh-huh. have like the the faded out artwork and then it says blizzard on the top uh-huh. he was using it like he was writing on it and like what? the, the and then he'd rip some pages out and it was like folded over and i was like yeah because they had those they had those uh they had those things um at uh at blizzcon and they were giving them out like little notepads and stuff like yeah, that yeah they yeah had, you had the little uh, things had a little thing like uh embossed in the front yeah, it's all it's beautiful. Like yeah. I, I would never touch I anything. Saw those. Like I so I would but, never but I would what, never use them. But that's what I mean. It's like yeah, the box. It's, it's sacred, is, right? It's sacred because yeah. it's a well, blizz thing, you know. While we were talking about boxes, I had to go and get the last box that I got. Yeah, this is. It's so big. Oh, it's Pandaria. It's, it's why is this so Pandaria. Big? They gave me the giant display box at the that's video awesome. game store that nice. when I because I was the only person there to show up for the boxes because that's where they started doing their digital downloads. Oh, nice. and I was like there. I, I, I you know, I don't that's know if funny. you guys. I started going to the midnight releases at BC, in BC, and yeah. you know everybody was there, and it was all hype, and we were all like just nerding out, cosplaying and everything. And I went to pick up my Pandaria game, and they're like, "Yeah, we only had two pre-sales, and you're the only one here." And I was like, what? That's weird. <laughs> what? Well, it's because that's when they all started was, doing the digital download the, and nobody went anymore. the first year for it, yeah. But because of that, they get, I got a giant, I got the giant Lucky? box out of it. That You're really awesome. confused me when you brought that out. I was like, is that a cereal box? Like, <laughs> what is she doing? Like, no. Yeah, like, why is it so big? It's it Warcraft is a giant cereal. It's mop. Two and a half. <laughs> it's mop cereal. Mm, two and a half. Mopos. Giant. Mopos. Box, Mopos. And it, it's, <laughs> it's been it's destroyed. It's not a great name. Mopos After all is, of all of my moves that I had. Mopos is not a great uh, serial name, but no, no that wouldn't be. It would be terrible. like be like I'd eat it though. Mop crunchies tastes oh like my a wet mop. Frasley, you need to stop mm-hmm. it because you're doing the best. You said <laughs> Panda Brand. Panda yeah. Brand. Eh, I don't know if that's the best. It's funny though. It's it's not bad. Uh, I he's he's hit me right in the feels today. Hey, I'm loving it. Hey, another thing. Um, and I know that right now is kind of a time where people, uh, you know, we're, I think for the most part, kind of done with the raid. I mean, like a lot of people have cleared through it and I know that a lot, a lot of teams are still doing heroic mode and all that kind of stuff, but people are looking for an extra push, uh, you know, trying to figure out what else to do and wow. And it starts kind of slowing down a little bit, but the nice thing is that Wowhead has actually teamed up with Method to do a series of guides. And one of the one of the series of guides, imagine that, Wowhead doing a guide. Uh, one, of the, <laughs> one of the guides that they are doing with Method uh, is that they are doing PvP guides. Get down with PvP! Yeah, you know me! Get down with PvP! Yeah, you know me! With- All right, so if you want uh-huh. to... <laughs> uh, if you... <laughs> If you if you want to uh, uh, figure out how to PvP better, um, then these guides might be for you. But don't take my word for it. But it's like a reading rainbow thing. No, okay. See, these guys obviously aren't any good because they don't have Blood Death Knight, and that's apparently the way to win, isn't that? What well, you I, I think they did. I think they they did all the DPS uh, roles. They did all don't of the most a, popular the most roles popular. so don't far. Take, don't take so, a tank into Battlegrounds, guys. I know it's fun. 
It and is they, fun. they haven't done any of the healers at all yet, so I mean, I'm guessing that sad. those will be coming. So, yeah, you, but these are guides written by top PvP guys, uh, either like in or friends of the Method organization, and uh, WoW has esports writer and WoW Liquipedia's admins and stuff like that. So, like, these are all like legitimately good people writing about what they know best. So, I, I'm so stoked on this. Like, I can't wait to to find out all the things that I didn't know about my class and this is gonna i don't i don't like these guides aren't going to make you really good at pvp it's it, you can't just like read it and then you know you're gonna be great and you're gonna be like right because it's always so, it's the, always so situational there's I mean, a lot of really good gonna be stuff happening. here so, it is but yeah. these are an amazing sort of like first piece like a cornerstone to like getting into pvp on on the character that you're playing on the character that you love so if your guide isn't there it's on the way they're just working on them but they wanted to get the most popular picks out first so i think this is great yeah more pvp stuff is always great it's There's a lot of stuff in here warlock's not here yet they don't have any tanks no uh and no they only have they only have sub brogue they've got healers they've got holy pally they've got rest of shaman oh do they they've got a holy priest yeah, they might maybe they just druid, added those why. today, maybe. Oh yeah. I was they looking do for not have they have rest of druid. Do they? Yeah. Maybe they just added it. They must have just added these. Well, but, now you're gonna um, have to PP with me. They're pretty complete. There's no kitty druid, no beastmaster hunter. So not everything. Only Windwalker Monk. So but they're gonna hey. they're gonna be added soon. That's cool. That's cool. So if, you're, so if you're looking for something to do and want to pick up uh, PvP as a part of your uh, regular thing or whatever, I mean, just take a look at the guides and and see what uh, see what method has to say about uh, PvP. What method they use? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, any what? other uh, any other World of right. Warcraft news, I, guys? It's just the worst guys. Um. <laughs> Seething Shore is now part of the regular uh, random battleground rotation. Yes, yes it is. I do Interrupt recommend. the casts. Interrupt the caps, please. Oh my god. The caps? No, the casts. The, well, the caps. Those nodes. Fight they on the nodes, they try not to on the road. Interrupt the caps, yes. The Always in. Because they're, they're sitting there, and fight there's on. just like, you know, I'll be playing, especially, it, it seems to be only when I'm playing my alliance, probably just, I don't know, alliance, sometimes we're a little slow. <laughs> Sometimes, but yeah, we're all but we're fighting on the nodes, and everybody's fighting and fighting and fighting. But then there's like one just goblin over there, like I'm yep. getting all the answers That's right. It. Bye. That's it. Ninja them nodes. Fight yeah, on the like, nodes, not on the roads. That's right. right. Click them. That's right. 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 Click them. All right. We're moving on to he. No heroes. No Hearthstone. Well met. That's the one. Uh, because we actually have to talk about this. Um, uh, Dave Kosak got lost in the woods last week. Can it I was, just? It was really, it was really difficult for a lot of the team, um, and uh, Ben Brode uh, went out to try to go find him, and couldn't find him. Couldn't find him for the longest time. It took a while. Uh, this, did you want to break into the story? What's what's happening? I just want to say, like the whole yeah. thing was so cute. You remember <laughs> when uh, Blair Witch Project came out, like. 100 years ago i am so sorry yeah and then there was yeah. just like so many parodies <laughs> right. and then like there were so many parodies that it was like okay it's not funny anymore but now that it's been so long since that's happened like this is hilarious and dave kozak is like probably the only person who could rival ben brode as like in, in terms of like funny awkward situational comedy those two like like ben's just like super happy even though he's lost in the woods and being terrified <laughs> right. and dave's just completely bonkers and is i think he's probably the cutest person in the universe uh so. dave, dave kosak is another big personality over over at blizz uh that is for sure and he's, and he's really, really nice. He was the like, story. Really he nice. was the story guy over at World of Warcraft, and now he's over at Hearthstone. And he is a story guy, and you can really tell uh, from the video that they shot talking about the next expansion. And uh, for uh, the next expansion, I just want to say yeah! thank you. There's actually lots of stuff to this uh, to this expansion, and I'm sure that we'll be uh, we'll be busting it out as far as uh, everything that's involved uh as as time goes on but uh we have the first expansion of 2018 announced the witchwood <laughs> not witchwood not witchwood 
But wood. Which wood? Yes. Which one? No, no, no. Wait. It's it's the the like, first one. Like as ha ha ha! I'll get you, my pretties. You know that. What one? does that mean? No, it. Uh, it's oak. <laughs> like, a, like which wood? Like a tree? It's oak. Yeah. It's oak. Which which wood? Uh, this wood? Walnut. That wood. Right. Uh, <laughs> and so we're gonna get a bunch of we're gonna get a bunch of new Pat, things. You're too professional. It's not, not fun. Not only are we gonna get not only are See? we gonna get a bunch just of just ignoring me. Just new, you keep barreling through the news. Not only are we gonna get a bunch of <laughs> new cards, we're also going to get uh, some new mechanics along with it. Yes. Uh, number one mechanic is uh, Echo. 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 There. Good Echo. job, guys. So <laughs> proud of us. If you play a card that says Echo, you can play <laughs> as many of those cards in your turn as you have mana for. Uh, that's how Echo works. Echo. Right. It's sort of like Echo. It's sort of like um, <laughs> that was late. The uh, um, Rogue, um, the Rogue Death Knight card, right? Where you can, where you play it, and then once you play a card, you get a second copy of it in your deck, right? But now it's a mechanic for just those cards, right? And you can play them multiple times. So depending on, like, if it's a one mana Echo card, yeah, and you play it on turn ten, you, you could play, play it 10. ten times, right? 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 Um, if you wanted to. So right. I think that's going to be a super cool mechanic. I'm that's, really excited about that one. It's kind of neat. Be able to, <laughs> yeah. If it was if it was one mana though, it'd be like a wisp. Right, it's still not going to be great. Fill I'm guessing that they're going to have some sort of battle cry with them as well. I don't know. Whisper. You know what I mean? <laughs> or maybe even some sort of card that will give a card in your hand battle cry. Do this, and then they can. I don't know. Uh, you, uh, we'll see. You can. You can probably. You know. Build it up with uh, with a couple of different uh, cards in sure. there as well. Uh, and then the other new mechanic that they have is what's called Rush. Now, Rush... I love Rush. Rush is kind of like Charge, right? But it's not Charge. Rush is, rush is three-fourths of a charge. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't hit the hero. That's right. It. So with three-piece band from Canada. The, that is. Amazing. That is. With 2012 arguably is my favorite the album. Best, the best drummer that's ever lived, Neil Peart. Yep. Not arguably, that's just fact. Scientific which, fact. Which is the best I'm album, s- though? Really? That's Tw- debatable. 2012 is really I don't good. Know. I like that one. Of course. Like with moving pictures. Moving, pic- uh, oh, move, moving pictures is really good. But yeah, with Rush, you summon your card and you can immediately attack. Then you can rock out another, on a keyboard and, and the guitar at the same time. At the same time. Right. With the synth pedals and right. the vocals. That's what I'm saying. I, we have lost control of this show. It's completely derailed. <laughs> this is no longer Battle.net News. That's, this assuming, is, that's assuming we ever had control in the first place, Shark. This is, this is Puns the Podcast. <laughs> we have to change it's the really name great. again, Pat. It's kind of... It's, so, so playing a rush card is kind of like playing ETC. Is it right? Oh, I guess right? because he's a rock band. I'm it's so damn. done. Yeah, it's, <laughs> turned up to eleven. Mm-hmm. You remember when That's ETC right. was a card back in the alpha? Yeah, yeah. in the beta, yeah. and it was terrible. <laughs> it was no. It's actually it's still around. It's it's. I think it's still around, and it gives uh it gives both players a uh, a rock out card essentially. And yeah, it does different things anyway. But all that being said, yes, <laughs> rush is fun. Yeah, you can it looks them. You can you can attack with them immediately as long as you're not attacking the hero. It looks good. And they were going over some of the cards and the cards look cool and um, looks like it'll break the game again, which is always kind of fun. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Game breaker. Right. Uh, and then uh, they have a new uh, this is PVE, right? challenge thing the new adventure as well monster hunt um and that's where you can get like four different uh heroes and go do challenges and such so that sounds good to me yeah yeah sounds really good they have also something that i thought was really interesting they what? revealed a legendary card called baku the moon eater and they have a I know that same guy. Thing with, he just lives right thing, down the street yeah. Baku. Same thing with with Gin Greymane. 
but they have something called start of game yeah. as a mechanic, right? So this is something that happens at the start of game, sort of like a quest card. Okay. Buck, for example, at the start of start of game, if your deck only has odd cost cards, upgrade your hero power. Mm. So that's mm. something that automatically happens if that card is in your deck and you qualify yep. having all only odd cost cards, there, you get an extra hero power. And there's and there's another one that's only evens, and then you get a discount on the mana cost for your hero power. Right? Your hero power costs one less. That's one. skin gray main. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so it's cool. It's something, it makes them a little bit more controllable. You don't have to wait until you draw yeah. this card, right? You That's just and something you have. In- uh, apparently, so on, uh, I saw, I think it was, I think it was Dave Kosak uh, tweeted out this thing about uh, this guy on Reddit. He actually uh, listed out all of the odd cards and all of the even cards in different packs and it was just like the pictures of them the pictures were huge uh but uh but you know it worked out so uh you can you can j- go check them all out or or just it'll be fun <laughs> just, it's gonna definitely or just bring open up your 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 card list so a lot of interesting i mean you remember how popular um the uh who was it that healed you back to uh Reno. full health Reno, yeah, Reno. the Reno card. Because Reno, if you only have one of, e- if you don't have any repeats in your deck, yep. heal yourself back to full, right? Yep. Um, like that's in that was an incredibly powerful card that made some really really cool decks that would not have been viable because you definitely want duplicates of the good cards, right? Right. right. Uh, but ah no, now I mean there's still uh, there was still a what do they call it the um, uh, Highlander Paladin or Highlander Priest? Yep. Because there can only be one. Only get be it? One. Right. Uh, I get, it? get it? Get it? You know, I get that so joke. anyway, that's going to create some new cool because now, okay, so if we got to do all evens, what's some good even cards? It's going to make some really yep. cool crap. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I cited. Oh, yeah. I cited again. It should be good. It should be Chronicle, good. Chronicle, new Hearthstone. Let's just do this. Let's go now. <laughs> all right. Sounds sounds good to me. Uh, so uh, so that's kind of the the overview of the Witchwood. Witchwood. Um, I'm going to go with cedar this time. Ah, very nice. That's good. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, but for now, I guess we will move on to uh, Overwatch. You won't get rid of me that easily. That's right. And Thist, I believe you have something Hi. you have something going on for Overwatch. Uh, what did you find for th- that's happening for Overwatch? Yeah, so uh, lead writer Michael Chu is going to answer your questions uh, in an upcoming Q&A blog, uh, but it's specifically about Brigitte. So uh, all you have to do is use your hashtag, hashtag Brigitte Lore, and then ask your questions about her. And then I think this is a really cool way to just sort of like get more of her backstory, find out some cool, interesting things. And I love the fan questions on, on lore because it usually like, it's, it's like half, you know, all the important like chronological stuff and like all the things we should know. And it answers like some questions like why, why does she wear this piece of armor? Why does she wield this thing in particular? Blah, blah, blah. But then you get questions like what's her cat's name? What, When's her birthday? You know, like just just random things like that that are like cool little flavor like pieces that we might not normally get, right? Uh, you know, anywhere else. So I, I'm really stoked on this. I do want I do want to correct you though because you were saying Brigitte. It's not Brigitte. It's Brigitta. Brigitta. I'm sorry. Brigitta. It's Brig- Brigitta Guetta. It's uh, As, uh... <laughs> it's pronounced it's pronounced Bridget. No, that's not true. <laughs> just to <sighs> make sure everybody gets angry. No, it's Brigitta. So yeah, um, I if I ever stream Overwatch, I'm going to always call her Bridget. Yep. Just to Let's make go. people mad. I'm, I'm just going to call her for the for the exact gonna, same reason. I am tweeting on the forum, talking on the forums I'm gonna, all, every day. I'm going to try to shorten it even more. Classic. Just call her Bridgie. Bridgie. No, there's there's yeah. a really great uh, the LA Gladiators oh, put okay. out uh, a video recently, and they asked the players how they would pronounce her name, mm-hmm. and Sherfor just stares at the camera, and he's like. Burgetta Goetta. It's just, it's just like that's what it is now. That's right. what it is forever. So Burgetta Goetta. Burgetta right. Goetta. It sounds good. That sounds. Yeah, it does sound, it, it yeah, rolls off your tongue. It you sounds know? nice. I like it. Baguette. Yeah. Baguette. Yeah. Ba- baguette. Baguette. Yeah. I'd call her that's Baguette. It. Nope. Nope. You wouldn't. Bridge. So no. is it Bridge? 
Just bridge. No bridge. Bridge. Uncle yeah. Bridge. Yep. It's Uncle Bridge. Uh, so is there anything else as far as news items that you guys saw over the week uh, that you would like to share with me because I was out of town and I and the Overwatches? Uh, I've got a piece of news. What? I missed you. <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't know if that's really news, but thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I uh, <laughs> I missed I missed everybody. Oh, I missed, I missed, sure. I yeah. missed Fist. I missed you. I I missed uh, I missed the chat room. Nobody missed me. I missed you a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I really missed you, Shark. I am like gone for two to three weeks, and then back for two weeks, I'm and then used gone to, forever. Used to the, I'm kind of used to the. Just uh, I'm the never here forth. anymore. Ah, no, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. You've, you've got, too good got for things going on. I'm not okay. too good for anybody. I'm too it's bad for you. I hey. don't get my work done at work. <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> just as a little, uh, as a little side note for those guys that are listening to the show right now, and you guys really like listening to the BattleNet uh, Sports show that we do. Uh, BattleNet Sports will be recorded tomorrow and out later this week, so be sure to look for it. Uh, and until then, I'm going to play the music. And the guys will tell us uh, where what they're up to and how we can find them and stuff like that. Shark, you're up I, first. You can find me on Merely a Setback. We record normally on Mondays at 9 o'clock. We didn't this week. We're going to record that show tomorrow. So if you're listening to this, maybe it's tonight. Who knows? It's going to be Wednesday the 14th. Uh, that we're recording this week. Uh, so we'll be doing that live. Then we'll get the show out very soon. But normally it's Mondays at 9. This is taking way too long. Twitter, <laughs> Sharku <laughs> underscore CTR. Right. Uh, you can find Merely a Setback at Setback Podcast. I love you guys. Can't wait to hear from you. All we're right. doing a lot of really cool stuff. Talking about uh, the War Chiefs. We're finishing up our War Chiefs segment. Talking about all the War Chiefs. So, so make sure to send your correction emails to Merely a Setback. To- Setback podcast Setback at gmail.com. Podcast. There we go. <laughs> uh, and Fist, how about what? you? What have you been up to? Uh, what, I, uh, the, uh, the newest, the latest episode just came out, right? Yes, it came out yesterday, Lagging Balls. Yeah. Uh, it is a podcast that covers all Blizzard things except StarCraft because we don't play it. But we did talk a little bit about StarCraft. Um, we also talked a lot about you because you were on the show before that right. as the guest host. And yeah. now that you're not on it, we can talk about you. Like, because resume talking about you. In this week's episode, we sort of described you, uh, what it would be like if you were like an imaginary friend who didn't exist. So that's fine. How, um, how'd that go? <laughs> No, it was really great, actually. Awesome. Uh, or maybe it wasn't. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so um, you can find that at laggingballs.com. I also write for a place called Double Tap. It's dbltap.com. Yep. And if you like esports, you should check it out because there's lots of really great resources to find out the news that you need real, real quick because it's all very uh, snackable, as they call it at work. Snackable? Snackable. Very much so. Um, right. And you can find me at thist03 on Twitter. All right, awesome. Uh, and you can find me at Pat Crane on Twitter. That's uh, Crane with a K. And pretty much everywhere else. You know, if you're looking for me. I don't know. You know, you don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to bail on this. <laughs> gonna start gonna this. Bail out of that. But we do want you to join us in every conversation that we're having. Please join us anytime. Uh, you can join the Bazoobo Guabo Nation by head. Oh, by, uh, you can follow the show on Twitter at Convert to Raid. Uh, also Facebook and stuff like that. And you can join the Bazooba Guabo Nation by heading over to ConvertToRaid.com. That's where we have everything now. I say it every week, and I do mean it. We have our show downloads over there. We have our audios or videos, uh, Discord info, guild stuff, swag store. And, of course, don't forget about the Convert to Raid podcast network. Where That's where you can actually find uh, the shows from Shark and from Fist, uh, along with all of our other players over there. At ConvertToRaid.com. That's right. Convert to Raid is You're produced welcome. and distributed by Signals Media. And that's going to be it for the show. This Shark, thank you very much. Twitch chat. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. And thank you guys at home, in the car, wherever you are. Uh, we really do appreciate you guys uh, picking up the show each and every week. And we hope you had a good time. Um, and, yeah, that'll, that'll be it. So for all the guys on Convert Trade, we will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.